Hey guys, uh, welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how I solved Bash from Hack the Box. Alright, let's get into it. First, I've used Nmap to see the open ports. So as you can see, I saved Nmap in an output file named Nmap.txt. Yeah, I've used a simple Nmap scan, Nmap-A and IP. So as you can see, it has port 80 open, uh, an Apache, uh, HTTP, uh, version 2.4 port 18, uh, point 18, yeah, and um, let's see, let's see what's inside. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna run a uh, Dear Buster to see, I'm gonna run a Dear Buster to see the directories. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it like that. So as you can see, it says that it has. Uh, I have tested it on multiple different servers, and it was very useful. It actually, I actually developed it on this exact server. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna deal with PHP Bash, which is a tool uh, created by Arexel. He has a link to it here. Yeah, it seems like. Uh, it's uh, an interactive web shell. Yeah, this is interesting. All right. Anything more interesting here? I'm just gonna skip to the moment that the Dirt Buster finishes. All right. So, a uh, Dirt Buster haven't hasn't finished yet, but as you can see, it found something interesting. A uh, directory called dev, which has the P the actual PHP bash tool that Arexel created. So as you can see, we kind of have a interactive uh, shell on the uh, path uh, slash dev slash bash uh, PHP bash dot PHP. Right, so we're gonna list the home and oh sorry, I'm gonna go home and Arexel. And as you can see, we have the user.txt here. Yeah. Alright, so the next step is... Uh, we're gonna wait until the user buster is over and then I'm gonna continue... Uh, I'm gonna continue the, the box. Alright, so... The buster hasn't finished again, but we found the directory that we were looking for. So basically... Um, we have uploads because basically we need to get a reverse shell, right? Somehow, because we are kind of limited with the uh, interactive reverse shell that we have now. So as you can see, uploads doesn't show up anything here. But if we go to uh, CD var uh, www.html, and here we have uploads. Yeah, uploads. Yeah, we have index.html, so I think we can access it from here. Yeah, it's empty. Cat index.html. Yeah, it's empty as you can see. All right, so the next hour. Yeah, let me let me close the the buster before. And our next step is to upload the. Uh, reverse shell our reverse shell into var www html uploads and how are we gonna do that well first I need to see what my IP is so it's 10 10 14 7 all right and now I've saved a reverse shell here I'm gonna put the link into the description below and where to find it so as you see, it's set to the uh, to our IP ten ten fourteen seven, and the port is uh, three three three. So what we're gonna do next is set up a listener and see LVP on port uh, three hundred uh, thirty three. So, oh, sorry, with sudo, yeah, like that. All right. So the netcat is set. 
and now what we need to do is do a python minus m simple http server on port 80 because we need to somehow upload the that uh, php file right all right well, yeah we need sudo again <laughs> All right, so we're gonna copy this, paste it here. All right, so now how we get the reverse shell? Well, will we use H uh, we'll use the wget on HTTP our IP 10, 10, 14, 7, right? And on our file called reverse rev.php, because that's how I called it. Let, let me just make sure of it. Yeah, it's called rev.php. All right. So we're gonna hit enter. So as you can see, uh, the box made a request to our to our machine, to our local machine, and it get it did a get on reverse.php. So for the moment, we can close the uh, Python server. And looking here. We have the reverse.php on our server and then we can access it here. So this is how you execute it. And we have the listener here on port uh, 333, as you can see. So we're gonna execute it like that. And voila, we have a shell. All right, now, um, if I do sudo minus, uh, minus i, Wait, sorry, sudo minus L. It says that user www data may run the following commands on bashed script manager without any password. So basically, I can do sudo minus minus u script manager ls, and it will actually execute. Uh, uh, list, it will actually list, list the current directory uh, through the um, script manager user, right? All right. So now that we are set and we got a reverse shell, what we want to do is actually get a reverse shell as script manager, right? Uh, so how we, how can we do that? Well, just as before, we spec we say sudo minus u script manager. And what we, we what do we want? We want a bash reverse uh, a bash shell, right? So we say like that. And as you can see, now <clears throat> yeah, like that ID. So now we are user script manager, right? So the next the next thing that we'll do is we'll go to scripts because uh, after searching while well, after running linanum.sh, which is uh, Linux privilege escalation tool. I found that local privilege escalation tool. I found that the scripts directory has a test.py uh, uh, script in here. So as you can see, could it as root because the output file is made by root. Right. So what we're gonna do is create a reverse shell in Python and name it test.py so that root executes it and we're gonna get another reverse shell as root uh, itself. So how, how can we do that? Well, I have here a reverse shell called re uh, a simple reverse shell. I'm gonna pull a link into the description below. You can find it on Pentest Monkey, and basically it's a reverse shell in Python. All right. So again, just as we did before, we're gonna uh, we're gonna create a simple HTTP server. We have it open here. All right, and we need to get on the machine. HTTP 10 10 14 7. That's a slash ref t dot pi because that's how it that's how I save the file locally and run it. All right, ref t dot pi. And how are we gonna do this? Well, first we need to set up a listener LVP on port six six six. Sudo again. <laughs> yeah, I always forget it. Okay. 
like that okay so we're gonna move uh, rev t dot pi into test dot pi so it overrides the test dot pi and we'll have our reversal as name name test dot pi as you can see here so we're gonna wait here um, and root is gonna execute it soon so we just have to wait for it yeah so it worked right we can go to root and we have the root.txt file here yeah so that was it for today guys uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like it share it and subscribe so I'll get motivated to do more videos about my OSCP journey yeah in the meanwhile uh, happy hacking and see you in, in my next video. See ya.